Uh, this is made up of about three dozen men from around the world. Uh, Lost Boy was a place where individuals could share pictures and videos depicting child pornography. Uh, let me be clear. We are not talking about uh, innocuous photographs or quote-unquote artistic photographs of naked children on the beach. I am referring to serious graphic images of children that are being sexually exploited. Uh, many of these children were in the age range, age range of 7 to 12 years old, uh, and these pictures usually depicted uh, children with their genitals graphically displayed or engaging in explicit uh, sexual activity with other children or even adult men. Uh, as a parent, uh, it is just too difficult to imagine the, the horrific forms of abuse that these children had to go under, and it, quite frankly, it's difficult to imagine that how the lives of these children will ever be the same. One of certainly the most disturbing aspects of this bulletin board was a forum called the Handbook Project. Uh, here, certain members had access to uh, this, this project, if you will, and would contribute to what would be commonly known as a grooming handbook. This handbook served as a guide for adult men that were interested in identifying and grooming boys, essentially convincing or inducing them to engage in sex. The handbo handbook went so far as to even provide instruction on how to move on from the, and move on to other victims when the current victim grew too old to be attracted. ตอนนี้ตอนนี้ถ้าเข้าไปในบ้านเราเอามาทุกคนนี้ตอนนี้ได้ทั้งฝาครับถ้าอยากจะไปดับรถทางโอเคครับขอบคุณมากทีเดีย
Craigslist because it's a new marketplace. We're going to be patrolling any new marketplace. And drug dealing is drug dealing. It'll be prosecuted no matter where it's going on. I think the thing that makes today's uh, indictments that were announced different is that the sales were very, very blatant. Uh, the names of the prescription drugs that were being sold were actually used in the postings. It was very obvious what was going on. Um, the undercovers didn't have to do any extensive work to figure out that uh, prescription drugs were being sold on Craigslist. Well, I think the message we're trying to get across is that drug dealing is a crime and it's going to be prosecuted whether you're selling the drugs on the street corner or you're doing a posting on Craigslist. We're going to be patrolling Craigslist because it's a new marketplace. We're going to be patrolling any new marketplace and drug dealing is drug dealing. It'll be prosecuted no matter where it's going on.